All right, guys, welcome back to another video here. Now, in this video here, I want to talk about converting a string to a byte array and then a byte array back to a string here. And in these cases that I ran into when I was doing this here was I needed to convert some information for an HTTP request here. So I wanted to document this and make a real quick video here. This way, if anybody else is looking for this information here, this is how you go about it here. Pretty simple here, but let's go ahead and go through it together here. So the first step here, we're going to make a string here. Let's just call this message and let's set this equal to hello world, the classic example from here, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a byte array here. And we're going to call this bytes, and this is going to be set equal to encoding dot ASCII dot get bytes, and we're going to pass in the message from above from here. Now you'll notice we have an error because we need to include a namespace here. So highlight over top of it, or I should say hover over top of it, show potential fixes, and we're going to say using system dot text from there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and debug. Let's make a little actually uh, for each loop here. This way we can debug everything in the console here. We'll say var item in bytes, and we'll just say debug dot log, and we'll say go ahead and print out the item from there. Okay. And we'll get rid of that just so we can see that this byte already does contain some information from there and this way we can see the individual bytes okay let's go ahead and save this here let's go back to our unity and i do have this attached to something unseen here right here at this point we'll see the information that was from the test run coming back from here okay let's go ahead and hit play and we can see all of the bytes in the byte array now okay and what we'll do is we'll stop this here We'll go, ahead and go, we'll go ahead and go back here, and now we're just going to do say string. We'll call this message converted, and this will converted, and this is going to be equal to encoding coding dot ASCII, and we're going to say dot get string, and we're going to pass in the bytes from here. Okay. Debug dot log, and we'll just say a uh, message from here. I'm sorry, message converted converted. Save, and we'll go back to Unity here back to unity oops you gotta think about it here and let's go ahead and hit play and now we can see our message being converted back here now you might be saying hey why don't i just do a two string here well let's try that out. let's do a debug let's say we're getting a byte array back from some type of json information or maybe something got converted along the way here let's just try this out let's say bytes that two string here and let's see what happened what happens i should say let's say this here and let's go back to unity and we'll go ahead and comment this one out here this way we're not cheating save and it's going to think about it here. Stop. Play. And we can see that this doesn't quite work there. So that's why I want to show you guys this other way. Or excuse me, the uh, the right way to convert this. So let me take back a step here. If I just try to do a two string here, this is what I get back. Okay. So I want to show you guys this way right here to convert that information back to a proper string okay so if you guys enjoyed if you guys learned something be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe and comment down below here if you guys really enjoyed be sure to check my udemy courses links in the description below hope you guys have a great day